So it's about time I got on to some emulation performance with some of these devices that I review, and what a great time to test out, of course, emulation performance on the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus that I have. So this does have the more potent revised Snapdragon 865 Plus, slightly higher clocks, slightly improved performance. But how will the Tab S7 Plus here handle some demanding emulation? So PlayStation 2, GameCube, PSP, and PSX, and a few others. Before I jump into the performance that you can expect here from emulation, just a little quick outline here of our tablet. So we have a beautiful Samsung Super AMOLED panel in this one, 12.4 inches. The resolution is 1752 by 2800, 120 hertz, 650 nits maximum brightness. It is so fast. So what can we expect from this particular system on a chip here? So I do have CPU Z in the background. And just to point out, that with this particular one here, we've got, of course, the Snapdragon 865 Plus. Faster turbo now, it is now 3.09 gigahertz, and the Adreno 650 graphics now goes up to 670. So it's a little bit quicker, a roughly like a 10%, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more boost here compared to the Snapdragon 865. This one, of course, the Plus being the refresh model. Now a couple of benchmarks here. So this is the Slingshot Extreme score here. So nearing 7,000 points, excellent result. And then the Slingshot Extreme, which is Vulcan. So OpenGL and then the Vulcan scores. So just to compare that to your existing device to see how much of a bump up in performance you are getting. Geekbench 5 score here, very good single core score. They're no, almost getting close now to 1,000 points and multi-core score edging up towards 3,000, excellent. And here is the Antutu score as well. If you're interested, it's version 8.4.3, and it gets a really decent GPU score here. Nice little bump up compared to say the 855, 855 plus, and even the 865. This of course, just being the refresh model here. Now, internal storage, UFS the respec, and what I do have with my model is only 128 gigabytes, okay? Uh, UFS 3 is quick. You can see the sequential reads and writes. Now the writes and the random writes will be faster if you do buy the 256 gigabyte model or you get the 512 gigabyte model. Those two models also come with the eight gigabytes of RAM. I just have the base model here. So this is the minimum kind of performance you can expect. So we'll start out with probably the lightest and easiest one here. Now, things like MAME, they're even lighter, and there's no point in me showing that because this one's going to play it flawlessly. But I will test out EPSXE, which is a PlayStation emulator here, and we'll see how this one performs. So with Wipeout is one of the first titles. So Wipeout performing very, very quick. And yes, my gameplay is terrible. I haven't played these games in so long. Forgot kind of how hard this is on some of those other tracks and circuits here very difficult to control. So even though the frames per second is reporting at the whole time 60, I do actually see a noticeable little dip just now and then, like then, it seems to lag, but it's not being reported. All time out, almost. Porsche Challenge. This was a great game back in the day. I remember when it first came out, people were just going, wow, look at that graphics. It's so lifelike, it's amazing. But it was for back in, when was it, 97? Running fine, 60 frames per second, very solid. See if I can take this corner properly. Uh, not so good. Hey. M64 plus FZ emulation here. Very good. Around 32 frames per second. There are some noticeable lags, so I'm just running this with the default settings, and you can probably tweak it a little bit to get slightly better performance. This area definitely is lagging a little.
Super Mario 64, so this one is running at a solid 30 frames per second. It occasionally dips down a little bit, but it's normally pretty good performance from this one. Mortal Kombat. No issues with this one. Very, very quick here at 60 frames per second. PlayStation Portable emulation with PPSSPP. So I've got my PlayStation Portable right here. And all the safe games, they just actually work with this emulator. It's fantastic. So I've gone in and seen that. Oh, okay. I've got a relatively high level Zack right here. I'll just quickly show you some of the gameplay I'll get out of this. Jump into one of those battles. But the graphics looks good at even the three times scaled up PSP resolution is what I'm running. So of course this is a steady solid 30 frames per second using that higher PlayStation Portable resolution. No real problem here at all. And I can't believe how good this looks still, even in 2020, such an old title. God of War, so this one is an old title, of course, 2006, and it still looks amazing, plays amazing for an old title. And it's at a steady 60 frames per second here, as you can see. Tekken 6 now, so this one does run at the lower PSP resolution, so it is 60 frames per second. I'll just jump into a challenge right here. Still looking very good and a solid 60 frames per second with this one. <laughs> I lost. Onto GameCube emulation now, this is using Dolphin emulator. So I don't have any other settings changed apart from this the way I have this one to auto fit with the aspect ratio, just so it wasn't like sitting right in the middle here with this particular title. So it is actually a steady 30 frames per second, which is great and very, very playable here. No, he is not a zombie, this particular guy here. So I've got to escape and fight a few locals. Let's see if the frame is gonna dip right down here. Jump out through the window. All right, ring it on. Oh, she's got me, or he, should I say? Okay. So yeah, the whole time is gonna be playable. I notice that sometimes when you do look around in areas of the village and whatnot, you get occasional little frame dip, but I mean, this is excellent performance here from the Snapdragon 865 Plus. Not a problem, I think that there's still one more local. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. They are dealt with. Soul Calibur 2, so this GameCube title did run at 60 frames per second, so it should be a solid 60 here, I hope. So let's find out. So I'm gonna do a, well, just a quick game here, survival. And hopefully this should be very playable. I don't expect to be any issues here with the performance. So 60 frames already, and what are any dips? No, this is looking really good, very, very promising. Not a problem. See, this is just a steady 60 here, so it handles the GameCube rail. I mean, Dolphin is an excellent emulator. They have really aced this one. That didn't take too long. 
Super Mario Sunshine. This one should be a little more demanding, so could have possible lags with this. We'll just check and see how it runs. So I did encounter a little bit of lag here, just especially at the start here when it loaded in, it drops down to about 24 frames per second, but over it, this is quite smooth and really I think about the best performance you can expect from GameCube emulation here. Tiny bit of lag here and there. You see down to 30, 20, sorry, three frames per second. Not super quick. Now onto PlayStation 2 emulation. So this is Damon 2 Pro, and I do have the game settings on the fastest frame rate option right here. Okay, and with Tekken, Tekken 6, you'll see that, uh, well, it's showing that it's 60 frames per second. This is kind of like playing in slow motion here. So the most demanding emulation here on Android that I will be showing in this particular video. And playable, yeah, but <laughs> it's just a real pain how slow this is. Feels like it's in slow motion. So let me know in the comments if there is some sort of tweak or some sort of hack that I need to apply to get this to run at full speed because it's just really annoying having it like this. Okay, pretty obvious that we're gonna have amazing performance with things like MAME, okay? So Capcom Play System 2, Play System 1, MAME, Atari, Amiga, Commodore 64, everything like that is gonna be super playable on such hardware without any problems. So that's why I didn't cover it. Those real old gen stuff, old school systems, no. But PlayStation, okay, <laughs> that was just flawless performance. PlayStation is very fast and smooth. PlayStation portable performance, Great, exactly how I remember really with my PS Slim back in the days. And great to see my save games transferred over, of course, uh, with that PPSS PP emulator. It is a very, very good emulator. So make sure you check it out if you used to be really into your PlayStation Portable games, that is. So what about N64? Flawless, very, very good. GameCube, amazing performance there. Really great to see. PlayStation 2, uh, not so great there. Now I know I didn't cover Dreamcast and many others that I could have, but it's just to give you an idea what to expect performance wise. So do you wanna see more emulators covered, emulations should I say, covered in the channel? I'll let me know because it's something I used to be really into and I kind of just dropped doing it because, well, it's it's could cause problems for the channel. Let's just put it that way. And it did in the past for me and that's why I kind of dropped it. But anyway, make sure you do check out the unboxing and in-depth first hands-on look at this particular fantastic tablet here from Samsung. I'm working towards the full review and there's gonna be a gaming review as well with the current Play Store titles, some titles that support the 120 frames per second refresh rate as well, just to see how they run. Will we run into some starter or lags with some of those very demanding, say, technology benchmarks as well will be tested in that one. And even a bit of a streaming with Steam too to see how it streams streaming performance. So make sure you check out and subscribe to the channel for those up and coming videos.